flight of stairs. These guys were looking at 80 stories just to get there. Then they'd start working. That was one of the first things people noticed is papers coming down, flying over them. My gosh. And oh. Oh my God, oh, what's going on? Huge tremor. Oh. There's another now plane. I'm, okay, we just all felt that. The whole building just shook. That was another plane. That looked like another plane just. What is going on? Both towers at the World Trade Center have been hit by aircraft. Both are in flames. There is uh, black smoke coming from both of the towers. Uh, it's uh, a horrific scene here. There's um, debris flying through the air. Mayday. 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 Second one hit. It hit the other tower. What we knew was that a second plane hit. And we had a lot of people trapped. It looks to be lower, which means there, um, you know, obviously there are considerable numbers of stories above that explosion that we just saw. Perhaps we can get another look from one of our sky cams that can take a different angle. Yes, you can tell that it now appears that both buildings um, are Back off. suffering some kind of damage this morning. My colleague. Um, Glenn Walker has just joined me here in the studio, and Glenn, um, I don't know if you've received off. any other information, but perhaps you can. I looked up, and the first thing I thought is, my God, that plane is flying so low. In a big city with these tall buildings, what's it doing so low? There was a schoolyard across the street, and I remember there were kids that were being evacuated from the schoolyard. One of the girls looked up into the sky and she said to her father, Daddy, look, they're doing it on purpose. It has come to pass a disastrous terrorist attack on the World Trade Center, both towers planes smashing into each one. I understand we've reestablished contact with Dick Oliver. Uh, 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 just, Dick uh, is on yes, the phone. Jim. Yeah, Dick. Jim, uh, uh, yes, just uh, moments ago, as you know, uh, another uh, vehicle, was some kind of an aircraft, crashed into the World Trade Center. This is uh, no accident. This is no bomb from inside. Uh, this is, as you put it, a terrorist attack. No, I'm no fine. This was not the case, am I correct? A couple of moments ago. This is the second Twin Tower now on fire. And we're going to check on the second flight if perhaps that had happened. This all began at about 8.48 this morning. Again, what we know, in case you're just joining us, a small plane, not a Cessna type or five or six seater, but instead perhaps a passenger flight, ran into the north side of the World Trade Center. As you can see, the, the second explosion that you're looking at now in the second Twin Tower it has spread much debris, much more debris than the first explosion or the first accident. Uh, if there is, if, is Winston still on the line with us? Okay, he's not there, but um, do we have, I'll just talk to my producer, do we have a, an eyewitness that perhaps sees better than we do from these pictures? Again, you can see that there is debris falling off. Come on, dip. Okay, we actually have an eyewitness news reporter, Dr. Jay Adlersberg, who is downtown at the time, and he is on the phone with us live. Dr. Jay, what can you tell us? Hello, Steve. Um, I'm actually uptown at 86th and Riverside. I can see the World Trade Center from about half the building um, uh, up to the top. And about five minutes ago, as I was watching the smoke, 
um, a small plane, I, it looked like a propeller plane, came in from the west and um, uh, about 20 or 25 stories below the top of the center, it disappeared for a, a second and then exploded. Um, Let me interrupt uh, you. This came from the State Department on Friday. The State Department has released a worldwide caution. Let me read it to you. Now, I'm reading this to you uh, cold. I have not seen it before. It was just handed to me. Over the last several months, the U.S. government has learned that U.S. citizens and interests abroad may be at increased risk of a terrorist action from extremist groups. We will continue to watch this part of the story. Let's listen into the coverage on WNBC. Do you see people that are injured? What? What? Can no, you no, no. I can't. I'm on the 28th floor. Okay. Yeah. So it's my new t to my vision. I really can't see too much. All right. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, Arlene, and please get out of that building and thank seek you. safety. Thank you. I'm leaving right now. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Be safe. We have another uh, another you. witness, Janice Huff, on the telephone. I'm not sure if it's our Janice Huff, but uh, she apparently was a witness to, to the, to the you, second I, explosion. You I, saw this? Where are you? No, no, no. Listen, I'm watching TV right now. Yes. Yeah. And um, you know, I can see the pictures that we have of the building, the first building, the one with the tower on the top. And as I'm watching it, and you're talking, I see a plane flying behind the other tower and I see it getting closer and closer to the building and I'm thinking is that a plane and it was and all of a sudden I see this explosion in the other tower so there was another plane so there was another plane with a second I mean, I, explosion well, from, from what I am look, looking at on television from the angle that I was looking uh, mm -hmm. here's a replay right here I believe when I was watching uh, this and so we have been uh, watching WNBC News' coverage. They saw the same thing we did. A plane, a second plane, coming in from behind and striking directly. Immediately the one uh, would begin thinking about a terrorist attack. Yeah, one doesn't want to speculate too much, but again, on Friday, the, Star the State Department released a worldwide caution about extremist groups, and it said American citizens may be the target of a terrorist threat from extremist groups with links to Osama bin Laden. In the past, such individuals have not distinguished between official and civilian targets. As always, we are taking this information seriously. U.S. government facilities worldwide remain at a heightened state of alert. Now, you'll remember that when the World Trade Center explosion happened back in 1993, uh, this was linked to uh, Osama bin Laden's terrorist anyway, this network. could be any kind of an accident, no kind of a navigational equipment failure or some sort of a, a navigational quirk by a beacons or whatever? No, you've got incredibly good visibility at this point, and no pilot is going to be relying on navigational equipment uh, in such a circumstance that would uh, cause them to crash into the World Trade Center. How far out of the way from an approach to either LaGuardia or Kennedy would a plane have to be to hit the World Trade Center? There are approaches that uh, come up uh, along the Hudson River, which is to the west of the World Trade Center, uh, and those aircraft usually wind up going into LaGuardia.